Good morning, everybody. I'm reading from 1 Timothy 1, verse 15. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief. The Englishman Thomas Bilney was born in Norfolk over 600 years ago. He studied at Cambridge University and was, was ordained as a priest in the Catholic Church. Although supposedly trained as a minister of Christ, he was very much troubled in his own soul by his sin, and he had no assurance he was right with God. In fact, he wondered if it was possible to be right with God. Then he started reading the New Testament, and he realized that it contained the truth, the very words of God. When he came to today's text, 1 Timothy 1.15, his eyes were opened, he trusted in Christ and in his atonement, and he was wonderfully saved. He reasoned that if Paul, the chief of sinners, could be right with God, then so could he. And he was full of joy at the thought that Christ came into the world to save sinners, even the worst of them. He wrote, immediately I felt a marvelous comfort and quietness insomuch that my bruised bones leapt for joy. After this, the scripture began to be more pleasant unto me than the honey or the honeycomb, wherein I learned that Christ alone saves his people from their sins. He started telling others, often preaching in the open air. He greatly influenced Hugh Latimer, who went on to be one of the chief reformers in England. But the established church was not happy. Bilney was violently arrested and charged with heresy because he preached salvation through Christ alone not salvation through Christ and the church. He faced being burned at the stake and even his friends put pressure on him to recant. They argued he would be more useful to God alive than dead. So Bilney agreed he would stop preaching that message. Even so, he was given a prison sentence spared the physical flames. Instead, he endured inner turmoil, a burning hell of despair for two years. But he found a new place of forgiveness and resolve in God. And after his release, he started preaching again, salvation through Christ alone, praise God, once more preaching in the open fields. He was arrested, charged with heresy, and on 19th of August, 1531, burned at the stake. He was the first martyr of the Reformation to die in England. Praise God that he gives forgiveness, courage, and resolve to his people. Amen. Have a great day.